the only thing that says yes, William Inman II was in Hocking County, personally present, is the testimony of Mr. Matheny. I mean, we did not have an adequate opportunity uh, without this disclosure to fully cross-examine him and let the jury uh, see all of the evidence and determine whether or not uh, Mr. Inman was guilty beyond a reasonable doubt in light of the credibility issue uh, that would be present with that witness. Of course, once you can't extensively or thoroughly cross-examine, uh, it takes away Mr. Inman's rights to a fair trial. Your Honor, it's the state's contention that even with a non-disclosure uh, such as that, which is being complained of in this case, we do not believe that it would compromise the credibility of the jury's verdict in this case. There were three eyewitnesses to the kidnapping who described two males and a female driving a white uh, old police car um, in the area of Logan when Summer and was kidnapped. There was other physical evidence um, such as the DNA of William Inman the uh, senior and Sandra or, and Summer Inman, excuse me, that were found at the scene where the kidnapping occurred. But most importantly, Your Honor, the evidence that um, we believe the jury relied on was the technological evidence that was presented both by the FBI um, and through BCI. The state contends, Your Honor, that nothing about Mr. Matheny's testimony, even if you take that testimony completely out of the record, would undermine the confidence uh, that this court should have in the verdict that the jury returned in this case, and we'd ask that the motion for a new trial be denied. You take Mr. Matheny's testimony totally out of the presentation to the jury, you, it becomes a totally circumstantial case. Uh, there is no one who identified uh, Mr. Inman II as being here except Mr. Matheny. One would have to question if it's not important, in other words, a solid part of the foundation of the state's attempts to convict Mr. Inman, why would it be presented to the jury? It was presented, it was presented as the only eyewitness, and it was presented without the opportunity to attack credibility. And therefore, we would submit to you, it does uh, undermine the credibility of the determination that was made by the jury because they didn't have the whole picture. Circumstantial cases can carry, to, circumstantial evidence carries the same weight as direct evidence. And it's important to note that the evidence Mr. Matheny gave was that he saw the car several hours prior to the kidnapping. There were eyewitnesses to the actual kidnapping who testified about the same car. So, again, the point that the state is trying to make is that while there may have been a disclosure of a piece of evidence, that disclosure was unintentional, nor does it rise to the level of a, 